everyone. Welcome back to Adventures with Edna. I'm Chris. I'm Chance. Chance? 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 Thought I heard Chance. Anywho. So, today's adventure is going to be getting back on this transmission project. I went to early Ford V8 parts in Piedmont, South Carolina, and picked up a rebuilt transmission from them. I've got it all ready to go in, uh, so we're going to pull out the transmission that I rebuilt. And put in this one. Uh, so hopefully after I get it in, uh, we'll be up and running again, and we'll be back to where we were when I was happy with the new transmission before it broke. Uh, so let's get started. Alright, the floor is already out, so that part's already done. Since we've already been through all of this before in the previous videos for the transmission, we're going to use a little bit of movie magic to make this happen just a little bit faster. So first, we're going to jack up the truck. That was easy. Now we're going to roll out the black carpet. Cool. Next, we're going to remove our custom aluminum drive shaft from Carolina Driveline. Slide this transmission yoke in so we don't lose any fluid. Next, we gotta take these rear transmission mount bolts out, right here and right here. Is my hand this dirty a second ago? Next step is to get these bottom bolts out. Two, three. I don't know how well you can see the fourth one, but it's right there. There. Or there. Now all I gotta do is just move this move this cotter pin and this pin that runs through the clutch operating lever and then we can move up top. Get the fill out when I tried to lift the transmission the first time. Alright, now we just gotta get the top. Bell housing bolts out. There's just four of those. One, two, three, and four. They've got to come out. Alright. Just pull off the speedometer cable and take it out. Alright, and now we take it out. Where'd it go? All right, so here's the new rebuilt transmission from early Ford V8 parts. This is going to be that new, new. Edna likes that new, new. So, now we're going to throw this one in. Actually, I gotta move that mount from the old or from the old rebuild transmission to the new rebuild transmission. Then it can go in. All ready to go? Let's put it in. And there it is. Magic. All right, now we gotta get these four bolts back in across the top. Now we just gotta go underneath and get the other four and the two transmission mount bolts. Alright, back underneath. Now we need these four bolts back in. And the clutch operating lever. Cool. Put the pin back in. I don't know if there's a preferred method whether this goes in through the top or through the bottom, but in my mind, if you put it in through the top, at least if the cotter pin fails, gravity's still holding it in. Uh. 
Hammer. Transmission mount bolts. All right, come on now. You gotta get in the hole. Get in the hole! <laughs> All right, now we need a drive shaft. Look at that beautiful drive shaft from Carolina Driveline. Go ahead and fill her up with a little 600 weight gear oil. Can't be driving away. Can't be driving around on an empty transmission. Now the best way to pull this plug back out is to make sure you scratch up the paint on it when you're taking it off. Well, you know you've been in there before. Get our fancy funnel in there. Thick stuff. Wow. This is going to be slow. Man, this stuff does not want to go through here quick. The filter right here, which I guess is good, but geez. It's only the first quart. I wonder what Chance is doing right now. Actually, Chance is on vacation right now. He was here yesterday, but he went back home early to go uh, on vacation for the next several days. This is what you do when you have the world's slowest funnel. Alright, we got fluid. Inspection plate. Floor thingy. Does it go this way or that way? No. That way. Floor. Gas pedal. Truck back on the ground. Good. Test drive. Look at that bumper. extremely short trip. I only got as far as making it out of the driveway and then my phone died. So I had to go inside for 20 minutes to get some juice in it. Completely sweated out. I had enough of this project. Right, let's try this again. anything with the clutch it is way out of adjustment
So my initial reaction, clutch way out of adjustment. You gotta give it some gas to not stall out and take off. I think that's kind of affecting the shifting a little bit. Uh, other than that, it's not making any noises or anything. It's driving fine. I think I just gotta put that little sleeve that I made for the clutch adjustment back in it, which I can do tomorrow. It's not a big deal. It should take but a few minutes. Uh, just thought I'd pull into the gas station, get some gas, get something to drink. Overall, I think it's going to be all right. Hopefully it'll last longer than two days this time. I don't remember how much gas is in that, so I figured I'd fill it up. Thanks. No, it ain't for sale. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Sell it. No. No.